and I saw Officer Roach on his back in the parking lot. Starbucks worker Madeline Cannon had just taken Officer Dan Roach's regular order, an iced decaf. That's his receipt. When gunfire erupted in the parking lot, Richard Rotter had just killed Dan Rocha. And he got in the car and he quickly put it in reverse and ran over Officer Rocha as he left the scene. What's going on with the guns? Just eight minutes earlier, Rocha saw Rotter moving guns between two cars. He turned on his body camera and went to investigate. Rotter, a convicted felon, was not legally allowed to possess a firearm. Prosecutors say Rotter realized this and didn't want to go back to prison, so he shot Rocha in the head three times at point-blank range. So, Sergeant Dave Sinex tried in vain to keep him alive. Uh, you know, I could keep his heart beating and his family could see him one more time uh, by me doing CPR, if that's all that that, that was. That, that's kind of where my mind was. And I walked up and, and looked and saw Officer Rocha uh, who I immediately recognized. Um, and he was laying on his back. Visibly shaken and struggling to keep his composure, Sergeant Steve Harney could barely speak from the witness stand, his voice often reduced to a whisper as he described responding to the killing of Officer Rocha. Harney was first on the scene. There was nothing he or anyone could do. Do you remember, did you check for a pulse? Yes. Did you find any, sir? The defense concedes Rotter is the killer in this case, but they argue he suffers from multiple mental health and drug issues that make him unable to reason properly. If convicted, Richard Rotter will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility for parole. Live at the Snohomish County Courthouse, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.